All right, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, Great Millstone, also known as GMS. And salutations to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the few sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Banyam Yon, GMS Mississippi. I want an in transit video through the spirit. Um, I don't have a topic at this particular moment in time, but just knowing that patience is needed in this truth. Patience is needed in your personal life. Patience is needed in your spiritual life. That's why the scripture says to wait ye upon me until I rise up to the prey. It also says to be ye still and know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Two different scriptures saying the same thing. And when you sum it up, it just means to sit down. You know, sit down somewhere. That's why the scripture says to put far away from thee the mortal thoughts of man. Because the carnality that is in this world, it can consume you. The imbalances that are in this world can consume you. So, you know, when you look at things with a spiritual eye, and constantly just being reminded of the scriptures and the different examples as it coins it that we have that's why it says that the things that were written before time were written for our learning you know so through that faith and that patience you know we may we may have hope and that belief because being a faith-based israelite is part of this leaning to your own understanding is not so if you're faith-based then that, that means that your foundation is firm and truth because it is established upon the truth and who's the truth the way the truth and the light so the word that he gave us commands us to watch and to pray watching and praying requires patience now, even when you examine the scripture saying that to be diligent to make your calling and election sure diligence means that you're patient and how is it synonymous to patience because if you're diligent in something that means that you continue in it because you know of the result or the reward at the end which means what that you're patiently waiting for something so if you are diligently abiding in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai then you know that you have a reward at the end because when we read the book of 2nd Ezra, it says what? When Ezra asks the angel, who is this man that standeth taller than, uh, than the rest and places crowns and palms in their hand, crowns on their head and palms in their hands. They said, it is Yahweh Shai, you know, whom they stood so, so stiffly for. They stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, they received crowns upon their head and palms in their hand. They were diligent. They were patient. And Lord will, we are of that number. You know, because you look round about us, like even the, 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 the people in these vehicles, you know, the ones that the Heavenly Father are not going to place that mark of exemption upon. You know, they're, they're, they're living a life in vain. We count our life vanity because we know the truth. And that yet the truth is not. And what I mean by that is that we know the truth, but we don't have the kingdom. We don't have the righteousness. We don't have that 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 second covenant where the heavenly father has placed complete righteousness inside of our inward parts. So therefore we live a life that is empty. And all we have to fill it is that patience and knowing that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to redeem his elect. And stand firm on his promise unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because the lost sheep of the house of Israel, they do reign supreme in, in today's time. You, you so-called minorities out there, you undesired, you know, you're called by words, derogatory terms, you know, wetback, red man, nigga, spick. That's not your name. That's not who you are. 
But in due time, with patience, the Heavenly Father is going to reveal your true identity unto you. In time and with patience, the Heavenly Father is going to count all of that null and void and allow you the opportunity to rule over your oppressors, rule over your enemies who's placed these terms upon you, who's placed these derogatory names upon you. You're going to have your foot upon his neck all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Not by gun, not by your fist, not by foot. But the spirit from on high, when the Lord comes back with the host of the holy angels from the heavens up above, when he returns, you're going to be arisen, both spiritually, mentally, and some physically through the form of spiritual power. And it's going to be a beautiful day because we look at the exiting known as the exodus out of Egypt. The Heavenly Father, he arrayed Israel in the goodly things of the Egyptians, which means what? They went out in style. The Egyptians looking on, Israel decked out, gold jewels, gold bracelets, gold nose rings, gold earrings, vestures. You know, the clothing that they had was of the finely linen out of Egypt. The Heavenly Father, through patience, redeemed his people who endured centuries of captivity underneath the Egyptians. And they went out in style. And the Heavenly Father was glorified, but Israel, Israel, were looked upon in awe and admiration. That's why the scripture says what? It says, we fools, during the time of this second exodus, we fools counted their lives madness. When they see the strangeness of the elect salvation. And it once again, the Heavenly Father is going to get all the glory and all the honor. But he's going to allow Israel to get fame in the land where they were put to shame through patience. Now you can read the book of Hebrews. Was that Hebrews chapter 12? Hebrews chapter 13? Going into that faith of our forefathers. Because faith and patience endure the test of time. Because you can examine a situation and you can make the best decision based upon that. Because with patience, you can see the end result. So that's the topic on patience. Shalom.